Okay, welcome to our little quick tutorial on our module one checkpoint and how to build out menus per our checkpoint. The suggestion is having a menu one with your site homepage, um, student portfolio if you have one. Menu two is a table press list of favorite links, links to the presentation assessment or interactive pages. This can actually be anything you want and you can certainly follow my model if you want to. So let's get started here. First of all, let's take a look at where we're at. In this particular case, um, I've just left off with the video on widgets. I've got my search and my about me over here and those are fine. Um, however, I do want to move these presentation interactive and assessment tools to a sub menu over here because they are not really as important as the MSCT portfolio and the home button. So it's important to think about what goes together in terms of your menus. So I'm going to go ahead and pop over here and I'm going to go to appearance and whoops menus. Now um, here's the important part right this is the default location for the primary menu that's how this landed here and so when I take a look at here here's my EDT See, that's simply what I named it. It doesn't have to be named that. It could be named main menu. But here are the contents of that primary menu, right? And so it's important to understand that the primary menu is always going to land here. However, that does not mean we can't make additional menus. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these. And once again, all I'm doing is removing them from the menu. I'm not deleting the pages, so don't panic. And now I'm going to save that menu and I'm going to come back out here and double check and indeed they should be gone. Now if you have, um, most of you are MSCT students, if you have an MSCT portfolio you're going to link to it from here. Um, everybody should have a link to their home page which is this. Um, that way as you were traveling through the various pages you always have an opportunity to navigate back to your home space on this website. So now that particular menu is set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and now create a new menu. And I'm going to call this one Side Tools. Totally up to you that word, those word combinations never appear anywhere. So this is a naming scheme for yourself to understand only, right? This is going to not be the primary or the footer menu and I do not want to automatically add new top level pages. I do want to go ahead and find my assessment, interactive and presentation tools. Notice that I can click on several things in one shot and click on add to menu. And there they are. I'm going to click on save menu. Now I have built the menu but I haven't placed it anywhere and I can show you that indeed when I refresh there that menu still is not out here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what I understand about widgets to make that menu appear on the left side. And here are, <coughs> excuse me, here <coughs> here's my left side bar and here's custom menu. Now I can add as many custom menus as I want to. So the uh, exciting part here is that if you've got lots of little sub menus that you want to create, you just create the menu and then you come back in here and you add this um, custom menu as many times as you want. I'm going to call this tool tools. Now this word will uh, appear on the site. So choose it uh, per whatever you want. And now I need to point to the actual menu that I want to use. I'm going to click on save. And now when I come out here and refresh, lo and behold, there it is. So what we did was we moved three pieces that didn't really belong in the same grouping up here. We moved them into a sub menu and placed them over here. So in a very quick wrap up, of course, we uh, played with widgets over here. I know that uh, I've worked on them because the default archive and meta isn't sitting there. I've also made it yet another menu and popped it in here. And note the concept of, of these menus is that 
you can actually make as many little sub menus as you want and post them in different locations including into the footer so that's the uh, short of creating menus for your module one checkpoint um, again you can follow this pattern if you want to or you can certainly flip your uh, content area over to the right side or you can do anything you want as long as you end up with the same elements on the page talk to you later